Hey, it's Michael Griswold. It's uh, 6.44 in the morning here in Denver, and I just had an epiphany that, would, that can help you discover how to turn the tables on your relationship with your ex, and so that it doesn't feel like you're chasing them and doesn't feel like you're powerless. Instead, you can actually make them chase you. Now, it might seem impossible at the moment, but after you hear this story, I think you'll see just how doable it is for you. So here's the story. So a few years ago, I had a car that was very fast. I had started a business that made me a lot of money, and uh, I enjoy fast cars, so I bought one. So I was on my way to a meeting, and uh, I was running late. So I was going a little faster than normal. It was a beautiful day. I had the top down. I was listening to you 2 and it was perfect. I was in this fancy suit. It was just one of those days where you feel awesome. So I'm driving along and I'm going in and out of traffic and, and everything's fine. Well, all of a sudden in my rear view, I see a police officer with his lights and his siren on. Well, I assumed there must be something really serious going on in front of me because police officers never use their sirens in this town that I lived in. So I pulled to the side to let them pass. But unfortunately, they pulled me over. <laughs> so as I sat there, he comes up to my car and he said, uh, sir, are you, in, are you in a hurry today? I said, well, actually, yeah, I, I am. I'm on my way to an important meeting, and um, I was kind of late, so yeah, thank you for asking. He goes, do you know I had to do 140 miles an hour to catch up with you? And I said, well, maybe you should try a quicker car. Maybe you could try one of these. They're pretty fast. And in that moment, everything changed. He said, do you know I could take you to jail? because it's illegal to go over 100 miles an hour in the state of Virginia? I said, yes, sir. Do you know I could impound your pretty Porsche car? And I said, yes, sir. And then something strange happened. And you wouldn't believe it, and I wouldn't believe it in, unless I was there. He said, look, man, it took me two miles to catch up with you. I know that you know what you're doing. It's all the other people that you need to be concerned with. Do you think you could slow it down a little bit? I said, sure thing, no problem. And not only did he not take me to jail, not only did he not impound my Porsche, but he didn't even give me a ticket. And I left the side of that road not really knowing the power of it, but having spent the last several years studying the way that relationships work, it all makes sense, and here it is. So often when we're in a pickle, when we're in something that we don't know what to do, when we get broken up with, we spend so much time, or when we get pulled over, we spend so much time trying to change the other person's mind. But instead, that will, and that will never work, but instead, if we change their mood, then everything works flawlessly. You see, if I would have said to the officer, well, you know, I'm really sorry, um, could you let me go? Uh, I promise I won't do it again. I'm trying to change his mind. But in that moment when I said, you should try one of these, they're pretty fast, I changed his mood. I turned the tables. Instead of being begging for him to be kind to me, I gave him something. I changed the way he felt. I made him laugh. It's the same thing with your ex. All of the things that most people do, we, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll never do that again. I promise I won't be as jealous or controlling or whatever. None of those things will work because we're trying to change their mind. But when we change their mood, when you know how to change the way that your ex feels instead of the way they think, then everything becomes easy. Instead of going to jail, getting my portion pounded and getting a ticket, he actually got on my side. He said, you know, I know you know what you're doing. I followed you for two miles. It's all the other people that you need to be concerned with. I couldn't even believe it. And it's the same thing for you. As soon as you know how to change your ex's mood, the way they feel about your relationship, about your breakup, and about you, then everything changes and they begin to pursue you. That is what the M3 system is all about. That is why I created the M3 system, is to help you know how to change your ex's mood. Now, you won't get a ticket, you won't go to jail, you won't get your car impounded, you will get the love of your life back. 
you'll get rid of that aching feeling in your chest and instead have them calling you saying, baby, when can I see you? I made such a mistake. I can't believe what I was thinking. It's happened for me, which is how I created the system, and it's happened for thousands of other people. Click on the link below now to get your copy of the M3 system so that you can discover how to change your ex's mood instead of changing their mind so that they can feel the love that they had for you once again. Click on the link below now. My name is Michael Griswold and be sure to obey all traffic laws and click on the link below now so that you can discover how to change your ex's mood, not their mind, and have them want you again.